Hey folks, I just wanted to give you some uh, wisdom from my 69 years of age. People, read your labels. Uh, some products are marked as being vegan. They have the vegan symbol on them. And so you are pretty comfortable buying them because they say, and they have to attest to the fact that they said these products are vegan. But you still might want to read those labels because vegan doesn't mean healthy, vegan doesn't mean fat-free, vegan doesn't mean oil-free. Um, so you've got to know what's important to you. And some of those vegan products are things that you might not want to buy. So read the label yourself. The other thing is, if food's not marked vegan, you, it might be okay, but again, you've got to read the label. I can't remember a time in my 69 years that there wasn't Worcestershire sauce in my household. And when I became vegan some months ago, and I started seeing these recipes saying vegan Worcestershire sauce, and I was like, what are they talking about? Why wouldn't Worcestershire sauce be vegan? Who knew? that anchovies were in Worcestershire sauce. My whole life, we've been using it. I bet if my mom were still alive and I asked her, did you know there were fish in Worcestershire sauce? She'd think I'd lost my mind. So what's my point? My point is that you need to read the label. There are products that you probably think are okay. And I'm not saying everybody is, you know, fanatical about what they put in their body or saying, oh my God, I ate something that had anchovies in it. But those of us that have made the conscious decision to leave those things alone would like to know. I bought some miso, uh, miso paste, I guess it is, to use in soups and it's got bonito fish in it. I didn't know that when I purchased it. So, all I'm saying is make sure you read the label and then you can make a decision as to whether or not you want to use the product. Have a good day. Bye.